This video is for adult collectors. Hi everyone, this is a video review of the Masters of the Universe, Masterverse, New Eternia, Triclops. So getting the figure out of the way, I'm going to show you guys all the sides of the box, as I usually do at the start of my reviews. You can see on the front, uh, there's a window here on the front. Uh, Triclops used to be in the box, and you could see Triclops through this window, but as you can see, I already got the figure out before recording this review. You can see on the side, uh, continuation of the artwork on the front with Skeletor, Beast Man, and what I assume are Skeletor's minions, Sanguicide's Triclops. On the other side, another picture of Triclops. And see some information on the bottom. And on the back, uh, you can see some pictures of the actual figure. Two swords he has, shows his visor can be switched around to see his various eyes. And the bottom, you can see the other figures in the wave. I got most of these figures at Target when I saw most of the figures from this wave at Target. I believe this is the first wave of Masterverse figures from the, he from the new He-Man series on Netflix, Revolution, which is a sequel to the first Masters of the Universe series on Netflix, Revelations. But rather than continue to talk about pictures of Triclops on the back of the box, it'll be easier for me to show and go over the actual figure. So as you can see, uh, I had the figure standing in front of the box earlier, holding his two swords. Looks very cool, dual wielding. Um, these are very cool. Uh, his Masters of the Universe Classics figure came with this sword. Uh, I don't recall him coming with this sword. It's very cool. He has two. Looks very cool. Badass. I mean, he looks very cool and badass. Holding both. Dual wielding both swords. Another thing I've noticed is like how the straps on the boots are actually painted this gray color. I know uh, compared to the Masters of the Universe classics, some parts don't have as much some parts don't have as much paint. For example, on E-Man, his straps aren't painted a different color from his boots, so that bit of detail is appreciated. Ooh, uh, we do see the belt is sort of monocolored here. Uh, there's just a bit of paint on the other belt above it, but, not a, but nevertheless, still very much looks like the Triclops we're familiar with from the cartoons, the 80s series, 2000X, and Revelations, Revolution. And the back, you can see uh, it's tied to the body. You take his head off. Take this armor off, just like you could with the uh, armor on the Masters of the Universe Classics figures. Here. It's for the head. Rotate his visor as we've seen on the back of the box. And also just take this one off and replace it with another one, which comes that comes with it. As you can see, these have more angrier expressions. Like this one. 
this one here. So the Triclops come with these two fisted hands. Really like how these Motu figures uh, now have interchangeable hands. So you're not stuck with uh, holding the accessories in a different hand, or you just have an open hand showing all the time. If you don't have him holding an accessory, is cool. Well, we can see. Uh, Whole body. Let's go over the articulation. Uh, obviously, the head's on a ball joint. So go up, uh, out. Doesn't have a butterfly joint like uh, McFarlane and some Marvel Legends. Well, you do get double, double bend at the elbow, the knee, so it can go about uh, 135 degrees. We got ab crunch here. Hits at the waist and at the abdomen joint. No, and did I go over bicep rotation? It goes all the way around. Uh, same thing with thigh swivel. Let's go up, out. Uh, loin cloth doesn't seem to hinder it at all. It seems to be very flexible, which is good. Uh, got a nice uh, boot cut here. You got ankle pivot and tilt, so pretty much it's standard articulation we're used to seeing with Masters of the Universe Classics figures. And we're seeing uh, the first Triclops in Masterverse, about uh, $30, comes with all that uh, motherboard stuff. It was more expensive than the other Masterverse figures, so I'm very glad I uh, didn't pick that right away and got this figure for cheaper. Probably wasn't going to have it wearing all that motherboard ritual stuff. Also, another thing I want to note is dung up this box. Uh, the accessories aren't in the tray like they were. The Previous line of Masterverse figures, uh, they come in this section here. They're bundled with in this uh, paper bag. So kind of like what we've seen with uh, recent Marvel Legends. So it's something I haven't seen Master of the Universe figures do until now I assume Bandai doesn't do this with their figures because the parts in side could move around and the paint of the accessories could scratch when everything is rubbing up against each other nevertheless this is a great Triclops looks like the Triclops we're familiar with from the cartoons it has all the articulation we've come to expect from Masterverse. Accessories with the visor, the interchangeable hands, the two swords are great. And once again, this is a great Triclops figure. I hope you liked this video. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's it for my review. Bye. Also, I forgot to mention, Triclops comes with this sash. You can use it along with the loop in his armor to store two swords he comes with, which looks very cool from the front. Just another cool feature to an already good figure.